Hello guys, it's Rob with Tech. This is just a quick video on how to upgrade uh, Nextcloud and how to upgrade MariaDB. I get a couple of comments that they're asking for how to upgrade a container because I show videos on creating the YAML files, but I never go through or explain how to uh, upgrade those those containers. So here, the first container we're gonna upgrade is gonna be the Nextcloud. This is the same installation the same container setup that i used in the last video when i showed you doing the next cloud and the mariadb so this is be the same file um, so the first thing you should do is like right now i had used 28.0.3 because there was an issue with uh, one of the plugins so uh, but now i'm just going to go ahead and use the latest tag and the the way i'm uh, showing that up is because if we go to my next cloud right now you can just go to the home and you are you signed in you're good with this page you can click here on the top right and do administration settings and you're going to see the version that you're on right this is a 28.03 so here you can see upgrade is like 28.0.6 now we're just going to go ahead and jump all the way to nextcloud 29 but before you do that uh do search into the documentation right because like right now, the reason I'm going to jump like that is because I already looked and the minimum version to jump to Nexus 29 is version 27. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, the latest tag. So if you go here into the Linux server next cloud, you go to tags, you can see that the latest version that they have is the 29.0.1 right here. Now you can manually put this tag or you can just use the latest. If you select the latest, it's just going to give you the latest container, which will be the 29.01. But since it's compatible, I'm just going to go ahead and just jump it straight off. So you go back to your open media vault. I'm just going to change this uh, version to latest. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I remember right now we're on version 28.03. So to update it, you're going to go ahead and stop the container. And then you're going to go ahead and click pull. This is just going to pull the latest image uh, from Docker Hub. And then that will be the version 29.01, I believe it is. Now, the after you download the latest image and you start the container, it will take a while. You're going to notice that the web page doesn't come online it will take a little bit but don't be alarmed All right it just finished so once you download the latest image you're gonna hit the up arrow and that's gonna start the container now here's where i'm saying that it is gonna feel like something broke but just give it a second it's gonna take a good two minutes because the reason is that whenever you start the container and it has a newer version uh next cloud goes into it starts upgrading itself uh it does like a migration upgrade something like that so that's the reason it takes a while but just keep on refreshing and about two minutes or so you'll go ahead and see the the next cloud come up all right so it took a a few minutes there but uh it's finally up so you can just go ahead and I'm going to close this out and if you go here to the top right you click on the administration settings and you're going to see that now we're on 29.01 but you're going to see some errors now uh, the database is missing some indexes to fix this we need to ssh into our open media vault so we can run a command so you can add the missing indexes so we're going to do i'm just going to open up my command prompt And I'm just going to go ahead and do SSH. And then I'm going to do the IP address. Well, I'll specify root. And I'll put my password. All right. So one thing that you're going to need is the container name. So if you do Docker PS, you're going to see mine is Nextcloud. That's my container name right here. Uh, it's important because the command that we're going to run to fix this issue on the back is you, you need to specify the name. So the command is docker exec-it. 
and then the name of your container, which mine is Nextcloud, and then OCC DB colon add dash missing dash in this. Right, so that's going to do its process, and that's it. Now, if we refresh, you should see that go away. Now, this error that pops up, if you look at the date, this came, the, the image that we downloaded came with this error in the log. So that, that's the reason why it's there. Um, just look at the date we started doing this. Uh, but this is, today is June 5th, so uh, don't be alarmed by this error. So that's how you upgrade your next cloud. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to upgrade your MariaDB. So same thing, if we go back to Open Media Vault and you do the edit, you can look at the information here. So right now we're using MariaDB and we're using 10.11.6. That's the version that, that we're at. Now it's important to remember, right, your root password. Um, this is the one that I used, but this is just a demo. Of course, yours should be more secure. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at the version. So 10.11.6, if you want to upgrade your MariaDB, um, this is the steps that you follow. You go into, again, wherever you got the container from, and the ones that I used in my video it was this one right here. You can click on tags and you can do 10.11. You can see all the ones that are 10.11. So the one that we have is 0.6, right? So if we go down, it's right here. Now we're going to go and get the latest one in 10.11 so it's going to be this one 10.11.8 so we're going to be adding the 0.8 so we can go ahead um so i want to stop next cloud again and then we're going to do edit and then you're going to go into the mariadb we're going to do 10.11.8 we're going to save Now, before I just pull, because I just have to pull and that will give me the new image, I want to show you something. If you compose and you go click on images, you're going to see that you have a whole bunch of images here. Every time that it says available, that means that there is a new update available for that container. Like in this case, we had done Nextcloud. So here's the latest one. We already pulled this one. So you can go ahead and actually remove the old one because you don't need it no more then that'll take up space now let's do the same thing with um, remember we already modified the version for our mariadb 10.11.8 now we just have to select it do pull again that's going to pull the latest container for uh, mariadb all right so that finished now the only thing we have to do well before we upgrade because then we can just stick hit up and that will upgrade but before we do that we should leave the old one we should pro provide i mean gather a a backup file of the database just in case something goes wrong so let me just make sure that that's what we had images yeah 10.9.6 that's the one that we used so we're gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and start it back Now that shouldn't mess up with anything since we went ahead and re restored that. So if you're following this guide before you change this right here, the version to 10.11.8 uh, is best if we take a, a database backup file. So to do that, we're just going to go back to our SSH session. I'm just going to clear this. And also here you're going to need the with Docker PS, you're going to need the container name. So in my case, it's Nextcloud MariaDB right here. And you're also going to need the password for the root user. So you're going to do Docker exec dash it. That's the container name. That's the wrong command. I didn't, you didn't copy the name here. There you go. That's the container name. And then 
dash u for a user and this is going to be root dash p and then you're going to specify the databases so dash dash all dash database with the s databases and then you're going to do arrow pointing right and this is going to be the file name the the database the the exported file name so in my case i'm just going to do uh, next cloud db db backup this doesn't matter it's just the name so you can um if you need to go back so that's what i'm gonna specify every time that you put the name make sure you put dot sql now here is gonna be blank now let's see if it did something it should have asked me for the password so to check the file i think this file is wrong because it should have asked me for the password you can do head the space dash n five and then the file name okay see so that failed so let me see what's wrong with the command oh i forgot the most important part so here you have so this connects to the next level mariadb container right now you have to specify my sql dump like this right so now you can see it stays blank so in this blank thing what happens is you need to specify the root password so remember here on the file itself you should have the password on unless you save it somewhere else so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this this is my root password go ahead and add that all right so now i should be able to check if my file has any data so i see 2.7 megabytes on my file now so this is good now you can also do that head command and you should see it like this i mean if it gives you an error you did something wrong so that's just in case the upgrade for the container fails you can go ahead and do a restore from that file so now that we have that uh, just for safety for safety purposes i'm going to go ahead and minimize this i'm going to go back and we had already uh, changed this right so we had already downloaded this but before you do that make sure to take a backup so i'm gonna do save and then i'm gonna go ahead and bring it down again now i'm gonna hit pull even though it should be already that's a perfect so everything's good now we're gonna go ahead and start up the container so now we're running with the latest next cloud and MariaDB 10.11.8 now before you go you have to make sure you upgrade the database so if you go into back into your sql session let me clear this and you can check we need to make sure that uh, you have to upgrade the sql so to do that is going to be docker exec dash it then this is going to be the name for the container again so it's next cloud maria db this will be the same one that you used a while ago uh, just change it if you have a different container name for yours then you're going to do my sql underscore upgrade then you're going to do dash u then root dash p now that's going to ask you for the password again so i'm gonna put my password okay so in this case we're gonna go ahead and force it because it looks like it's still running on the older maria db version okay so enter password Right, so I'm just gonna hit it again, but without the force to see what it says. You specified the password wrong. All right, so now you can see that MariaDB is now running. It's already upgraded to 10.9.8, so no need to force it. But if you go back to the old 
You remember that like, we went, we ran the MySQL upgrade. It's barely visible. So here we ran the upgrade and it was saying it was being picked up as 10.11. So we had to force it, run the same command, but force the upgrade. So after forcing the upgrade, it does this here. upgrades all the database and now i ran the command again just so i can look at the version number now that should be it now we should just uh, do one final check go ahead shut down the container the metadb and the next cloud and then restart everything up and make sure everything looks good Right, while that starts, I'm just gonna go ahead into the images and download, I mean, remove the old 10.11.6 image. And this one's the latest, so all looks good here. So we can go ahead and go back to next cloud and that should be good to go. Right, so we see it's come, it came up. We can do administration settings. So here we can see upgrade your version is up to date now if you want to clear this error you would have to uh, remove the log file now it will be different depending on your installation but i can show you the way that i can do it on mine um so you go back to um, open media vault you can click on next cloud edit and, and you would have to get to this data, this uh, Nextcloud data, wherever you have this data, that's where those logs are at. Um, another way you can find out if you go to storage and you go to shared folders, you have app data. This is the path that you want to go to. So I'm just going to go click copy this one. And then I'm going to go back to SSH. I'm going to clear this again. And you're going to do I'm going to right click. Well, before you do that, if you, well, I guess before we delete it, you can view that file. You can do VI and then go to that path and then forward slash. And you can always tab. That will give you like the folders that you have in there. So I'm just going to do next cloud. And I think the ones that I have is the data one. That's where you're going to have to go. And then you have next cloud log right there. Now that would open up the log file you can see that it upgraded from 28.03 to 29 first you can expand this look through all the logs in here you can go shift i mean you can do g if you want to go to the top or shift g and it will go all the way down so to clear them you can just do hit it back up like up arrow and then here you do just a forward slash like this now, if you go VI again, you're going to see it's blank. Now, if you have errors in there, I mean, because this one is I'm deleting it because it was just the old ones that that came with the image. Um, so what, if we go back to Nextcloud and we refresh. You see how now you have a clean system. Um, well, that's it, it, guys. This is a... The end of the video i mean if, if you like please like subscribe or comment if you have any questions uh let me know for any more video ideas um you no know, i kind of been not uploading that much but uh, give me ideas and I'll, I'll try to make videos of them thank you